Hello and welcome to what happened on this day. Today is the 28th of December and we're going to go back to 1065 where on this day Westminster Abbey in London was consecrated. Westminster Abbey is one of the most famous buildings in all of Britain and over its thousand year history it has been the site of several royal weddings, coronations and funerals. The construction of the present church began in 1245 during the reign of Henry III who selected the site for his burial but an abbey of various sorts had existed on the site since around 1060 and an order of Benedictine monks occupied the area since around 960 or 970. Edward the Confessor began building an abbey in 1042 and it took about 10 years and on December the 28th in 1065 the abbey was consecrated only a week before his death. It is likely that Harold II was crowned there but the first recorded coronation was that of William the Conqueror on December the 25th in 1066 after his invasion of England and Harold's subsequent death. Since then every coronation of English and later British monarchs has taken place at the Abbey. Not only that, thousands of famous people are buried within the Abbey including 16 monarchs, 8 prime ministers and various other actors, scientists and military leaders. And so we move on about 800 years to 1836 where Spain finally recognised the independence of Mexico. Mexico had been trying to gain independence from the Spanish Empire since September in 1810 and had been involved in the Mexican War of Independence with Spain up until 1821 when the Treaty of Cordoba was signed. However, even though the treaty was signed by the Spanish Viceroy of New Spain and I can't pronounce his name so here it is on screen the Spanish government refused to accept the treaty, arguing that the Viceroy had no authority to recognise the Mexicans' independence. It was another 15 years and many battles later before, on December 28th in 1836, Spain recognised the independence of Mexico under the Santa Maria Caltrava Treaty, signed in Madrid by the Mexican Commissioner Miguel Santa Maria and the Spanish State Minister José Maria Caltrava. Mexico was the first former colony whose independence was recognised by Spain. The second was Ecuador on February the 16th in 1840. And moving on to 1939, if you think things are a little bit bad at the moment here at the time of recording in 2021, well think back to what it may have been like during the Second World War. On this day in 1939, the British Ministry of Food announced that sugar would be rationed from the 8th of January in 1940 and meat from a date still to be fixed. The Minister of Food, William Morrison, said that this would release foreign exchange and provide shipping space for the importation of armaments and raw materials. And in 1940, still in World War II, the German bombers attacked two destroyers under construction in Southampton in England. The future destroyer, the Norseman, was blown in half and the other future destroyer, the Opportune, was also heavily damaged. Living under constant fear of German attack really must have been terrifying. And in 1958, a sporting moment. The greatest game ever played, the Baltimore Colts win the 26th NFL Championship against the New York Giants, 23-17 at the Yankee Stadium in New York. The first ever sudden death overtime game in NFL history. 17 future members of the Pro Hall of Fame were involved in that game. And now some time for some famous birthdays. First we have Woodrow Wilson who was the 28th US President who lived from 1856 until February the 3rd in 1923 where he died aged 67 of a stroke. He served two terms as President from April the 3rd in 1913 to April the 3rd in 1921. Next up is Stan Lee, the genius behind the best known Marvel characters of all time and the reason we get to enjoy all of the movies that we've been seeing over the past few years. Think Spider-Man, Iron Man, The Hulk, Black Panther and others. He was born on this day in 1928 and lived a long life until age 95 where he died recently in 2018. And if you've seen a few of the Marvel movies you may have noticed his cameo appearances and a happy 66th birthday to Denzel Washington. Born in 1954 in Mount Vernon, New York, Denzel went on to become one of Hollywood's best known actors, starring in great movies such as Training Day, American Gangster, and one I watched just the other day, The Equalizer. And that concludes today's roundup of events. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and comment and 
Also, if you feel like it, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.